today we are for the Asian session, um, making decisions, making plans before the day starts. The major, major thing is Izoro. We had news come out and um, it was based on the USD, the jobless claims, and then the crude oil. Um, those news came out positive, but we did not necessarily see a huge reaction. So that was at half past two. So for this, yeah, for these candles around here, for this candle around here, then again at five, there was other news that came out. Yeah, so it was this one and then five. More news came out as well and it was still positive. But we didn't really see a reaction in Gago from Imaget. Then now we had um, the Bank of Japan news. And this affects the Asian session very much. And that news came out negative. So meaning Uti, nothing is attractive about the yen. Um, that has seemed to push the gold price past yesterday's New York high, which is this one. So that was the highest high that they were willing to buy gold at yesterday. But today, um, it just passed. It's right now, um which is like interesting. I wouldn't really expect that. I really wouldn't expect that. Um, but yeah, I've sold at these um, highs and I'm expecting the US dollar to be very attractive just because of its stability from yesterday. Uh, and then yeah, I would guess this is the high for the day. So when the London session starts tomorrow, I'm not expecting it to uh, reach these highs. Um, it's only the New York session that can be capable of just taking away this high. And yeah, probably like look for another place to test um yeah so right now it's a bit tricky it's just best to be holding on for the long-term goal because the chart itself is just a bit tricky but let's just see what's happening on the lower lower time frame See, like, okay, if it closes, uh, with, like, if this candle, one hour candle, closes, like, below 123.39, then definitely the, the cells are still very much active. But if it breaks this 123.39 uh, and it closes above it, then yeah we have a problem <laughs> we have a problem because we might be looking to test la pago and 192901 around there so that's what we are looking out for with the ivala kuipi price by the time this candle closes on the one hour on the 15 minutes yeah we just seeing was okay this is a spike up and then hopefully like people are just got to make key show those who have over leveraged um and then yeah we're gonna experience some um, movement more towards the downside so i'll keep the positions just like this uh monitoring monitoring the chart closely and then we'll take it from there yeah but if you're looking at the charts you will just see you can see there is a pattern that is being created this side this side like here 
this side and this side so this leg is very much true this leg is very much true because yeah so it can just look like this side and then with this one specifically i think we can start here yeah then see a retracement from there so 1902.25 yeah we can start um yeah looking to take profits profits from there then it can be a weird move of footy may say so this is dropper again yeah that's the plan that's the plan uh, lama lara vidas is it because you know they provide good insights in times of you know and just going back and um sticking to your analysis sticking to the script that she had said and then that manages to calm me down because if you think about it in all that is happening these entries are still very much safe so worry not really worry not so yeah let's complete this leg and then yeah take it from there i guess there's a bonus to go to check a system j papaya papaya papaya